श्री श्री आनंदमयी मात की जय एज दिस बॉडी स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम एलोन इन हर रूम एंगेज इन दीज स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिसेस she had little contact with people and so hardly anyone visited the home when this body performed the household chores her looks and gestures reflected the spiritual state she had attained during the pujas while at the same time she was withdrawn so no one could understand her extraordinary mood though her physical condition often revealed the potency and power of her spiritual state on many occasions a brilliant light flashed from the body illumined all the space around the light gradually spread enveloping the universe she would cover her whole body with an extra piece of cloth and for a long time retire all by herself to a solitary corner of the house the places on which she laid or sat became intensely heated during this period the body emanated such a divine power that at her glance people forgot all about themselves and were steeped in heavenly delight when this play of sadhana was continuing in bajitpur i would feel in the beginning a shiver go slowly up the two subtle veins inside the nose and settling itself steadily at a spot between the two eyebrows over a tiny area of my forehead it would then gradually travel to the crown of my head followed by a slight sensation of heaviness this body would become absorbed in a profound inner yogic state incapable of concentrating on any household work at such times she would quickly bathe and sit down deeply absorbed for some time after which she would lie down later on rising she felt as if nothing external had any attraction for her wherever she looked she felt indifferent and disconnected try to understand that the intensity of the inner emotions makes one oblivious to the things of the external world and unless one becomes oblivious of the external world the doors to one's inner world cannot open up to the full extent regarding the granthi chakras in the shat chakra the bij mantras that lie hidden at the root of each granthi have different gods and goddesses with their varied images characteristics and forms but from a human perspective a person will experience the divine qualities of specific deities only to the extent permitted by the sanskaras that he or she was born with or will be born with when the sadhaka is established in complete union with the deity the need for specific rituals to that particular deity gradually wanes also the attraction to the components of worldly consciousness sight taste smell touch and sound as well as fragmented emotions materialistic tendencies and the consciousness of the physical body evaporates as the self prepares to merge in the vast ocean of divine bliss gradually the truth about that which is manifest as well as that which is not slowly emerges as the self proceeds to establish itself in itself shri shri anandamayi mat ki jai